So I'm involved in a planet prize community because I believe we need to tell the message about the value of climate science to the whole world. And we could do that through all the papers that we buy, or the thousands of those. But the most important ones, the most prominent ones, need special attention. And that's what the Planet Prize is all about. Planetary science is at a really important moment because we know there are difficult problems coming our way environmentally, climatologically. And we need to change that. We need to decarbonize at pace as quickly as possible. We've sort of tried the persuasion routes by demonstrating how valuable the science is to telling us about our future. And that's made some progress, but it hasn't worked completely. We've tried the sort of diplomatic route and the government route, 28 COP meetings now. And some progress has been made, but it hasn't really made the difference. Um, so we need an additional way forward. And I believe that's for environmental scientists to start working with law experts because the law is there to protect us and it's there to protect our future as well. And if there are companies, if there are countries that are knowingly polluting the atmosphere and the rivers and the oceans, and they're doing that in full appreciation of the damage that it will be causing, then they should be held to account for that. And it should be the law that does it, not on its own, but through advice and support from the environmental science community. Okay, the message that I have for the community is that there is hope. There's a great deal of hope. We know what we have to do, actually. We need to decarbonize as quickly as possible. And in fact, we know how to do it. Most of the solutions that we need is not some sort of science fiction idea about technology for the future. They're all around us right now. It's not a money problem. We know where all the money is as well. We just need to get on with it. And we need to sort of understand what's holding us back. There are sort of vested interests the polluting companies and countries that are maintaining their sort of economic fossil fuel driven position and they need to be challenged. But if we did that properly, I see a very positive future. A decarbonized world is a healthier world, cleaner air, cheaper energy bills. Why would we not want that? We just need to get on with it.